Hey there, RPD version 2.1 was fine. <clears throat> Hello there, a huge update for Affinity version 2. Now we're moving to version 2.1 for all three apps. Don't worry, if you purchased version 2 last year, this is a free update for you. So let's uh, take a look what's new in Affinity Designer 2.1. Here I am in the program. And the first big feature, more like a bug fix in my opinion, is a balanced dash line option. So previously, if you draw a shape and then apply a dash line like this one, you may notice corners are a bit different. The line is not balanced on that shape. So it's pretty ugly and very often people need to fix this manually. It was a slow and painful process. So now, if you select a shape like this with a dash line, you go to your stroke options on the right. Here in the panel, we got dash line selected, size, all of that stuff is here. But also, next to the dash line phases, this additional button called balance dash pattern. If I click on that, now my line is balanced according to my shape. Take a look, exactly the same on each edge. A quick fix, a very neat one. And more than that, you may notice that this whole dash panel is expanded as well. So we can easily set up phases right now, right? So we can make this one larger and gap between larger. And then we can make the next one smaller and smaller. And this way we can create a unique patterns in the face menu with ease all right so they finally fixed dash line it's way better than in version 2.0 how about the next feature they moved uh you can say they copy a raster warp from affinity photo into affinity designer so now it's available in the pixel persona so now if you got a raster image in your project like this one over here and you move to pixel persona. So let's change that. We will be able to apply warp on it as it was in the affinity photo. So that's a really helpful feature. And now it's directly here in uh, designer. So we don't need to swap between programs to do that. We can do it directly in designer. Just switch to the pixel persona. So I'm heading to my layer panel, then I'm searching for life filters and I can add mesh, mesh warp. And this way I will be able to warp image inside. As you may remember previously, I was only warping the shape. And now I can warp pixels inside as well. So that's what we need here. That's a regular pixel warp. And it's here in designer. All right, what's next? That's I think that's the biggest one. A new tool, brand new tool in version 2.1. That's a vector flood field, also known as the bucket tool. So if I select certain shapes and lines like here, oh, let's go back to designer persona. All right, select those shapes and lines and now I can pick this brand new tool on the left. Here it is. Look like a little bucket. As you see, I'm highlighting certain areas based on intersections. So even though this is one shape, I can highlight on the one area based on intersection. For example, here and fill that with a new color, creating a new shape there. Also, I can fill totally empty area. Here's nothing. And we can create a brand new shape because it's lines on all sides with shapes from the top and this line from the bottom. So that's really handy in creating new shapes. And I know many folks that switching from Core Draw been waiting for this little bucket tool. And now it's here and works really well. All right, what's next? We got vector warp tool. And now it will also snap the nodes. So that's something. That was added previously we can warp our vector shapes but without snapping now it will be even easier with a snapping option so if i apply uh, let's say arc on this guy 
now those additional points here will snap to geometry will snap to guidance whatever we need so they are acting like normal nodes now even though they are in the mesh so we can snap them we can align them as you can see to the center of the screen right now all right so now those mesh nodes react to snapping and guidance so that will be helpful what else auto select toggle that's really nice that's something we always use in raster editors but as you know affinity designer is kind of hybrid program two in one so it's good to have it here as well by default while you're clicking objects you're selecting them with this selection tool of the move tool right you can switch that off now so take a look if i go the move tool it's auto select is turned on right now i can switch this off and if i click around my artboard i cannot select anything but if i click in the layer panel i can still move between different objects this way you will not miss select objects so i select this pink one in the center even though i click on the orange one i'm moving the pink one because that's what is selected in the layer panel so that's really handy if you've got really complex projects some shapes behind another shapes you can switch off auto select and select manually from the layer panel this way you can move exactly what you need to move that's a small but really really welcome feature to the user interface all right what else this one is also something that you may think was already here before but no now we can double click the artboard name let's move to this artboard here oh i cannot because i just switch off auto select <laughs> so let's turn it on all right now i can double click artboard name and now we can modify the name from here rename and that's my new name previously you must always search for the artboard layer in the layer panel and you can rename that from there now you can rename it directly from the project section here from the main screen from our canvas our artboard so small but welcome feature and finally i want to talk about uh, close all because if you are like me <laughs> opening multiple documents same time then you need to close them one by one and now we can just head to file and select close all this way you can close all of the windows in the program and reopen new windows that you just need all right so i just highlight seven new or improved feature in version 2.1 like close all double tap to rename artboard auto select toggle that's nice vector warp now is snapping like any other nodal and what do we have here new tool vector flood fill tool also known as the bucket tool we can fill areas to create brand new vector shapes we can now warp a uh, pixel layer like this and also the biggest thing for me personally is that i can finally balance my dash lines all right just seven new features there are more you can check out the official documentation on the affinity website if you purchase version 2 they will also send you an email with all of the details you can check out there and keep your eyes peeled for the next video i will talk about new features in affinity photo version 2.1 so please subscribe so you will not miss that and i will see you in the next tutorial bye